Okay, so it's been a little while, but today we're going to be doing a brand new series, and I'm actually really excited about this one. So I just bought a brand new lodge, and basically what we're going to be doing for this series is hunting to fill it up, and my goal is one animal in the lodge per video, and I think that's a reasonable goal. But before we get started, I just wanted to talk about something that I noticed. So on my YouTube analytics, I've noticed that 60% of my views, or higher than 60% of my views, come from people who aren't subscribed to the channel, which normally I'm not one to ask people to subscribe, but because I get so consistent amount of views, I found it kind of odd. So being 400 subscribers away from the monetization mark, for those of you who aren't subscribed, it would mean a lot if you could hit that button, get me to that goal, because that'll, that, that'd be pretty big for me. But without further ado, let's go shoot some things that are worthy of standing in a room dead. Alright, first bullock of the hunt. Definitely not the one for the lodge, but we'll take him out. I think I've only got the longbow on me that I actually have arrows for, because I forgot to pack up, so... This could be a little bit interesting. But I think if I get him close enough, I can at least tag some lungs to take him down. And probably drop him with the right angle if I can get that neck bone. Come a little bit closer and then I'll... And then I'll put you to bed. Yep, there we go. Looked like either a brain shot or a neck bone shot. Judging by that uh, arrow hole in his face. Actually, I still can't tell. It's kind of low to be brain, so it probably is neck bone. Yeah, it is neck bone. 180. Definitely a beatable score for this hunt. I would actually like to get some big Rockies for this video. I don't hunt Rocky Mountain Elk very often, and they are... They are one of the more popular species that... I'd like to give a little more attention. That's a cow. Alright, yeah. Let's go find some more Rocky Mountain Elk. Maybe some big mules. We'll see. We gotta put something in the lodge, though. That looks like a nicer bull. 310 to 500? Well, he definitely beats our, uh, our 180, so... So that's a thing. And uh, we're going to be taking him with the longbow again because I pointed out the fact that I forgot to grab arrows and then still totally forgot to grab more arrows, so we still only have longbow arrows. And I think I have like three bows on me right now. Yeah, I have three bows on me right now and only arrows for one of them. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> He's almost in longbow range. Come on. I would say that that's, that would be my comfortable longbow range, but he had that tree right in front of him. There we go. I'm gonna hope that was lung. It looked like a lung shot. And it's lung heart blood. So we'll give him a minute to go down and then we'll go see what he's gonna score. I'm hoping he's, I'm hoping he's 380 plus. He looks like he might be. He only had the two back tines, but he had a nice frame. I didn't really check his other tines. I was a little more focused on actually getting an arrow into him than field assessing him, but we'll see. Hopefully he's a good one. And there he is. And a terrible spot to take a picture of him. Also, I apologize. My voice is like kind of off. I'm Throat's a little bit congested. Let's see what he's gonna score. 362. So quite a bit smaller than I thought, but not awful. But yeah, he's not quite worthy of the trophy shot treatment, which is probably a good thing because I don't think I'd uh, I'd do a very good job of taking a trophy shot in the middle of this crap, like right here. Like this doesn't look like a great spot. For any camera to be trying to take a picture of me while sitting here. That was a weird way of explaining that, but <laughs> it's alright. We'll go we'll go find some more stuff. 
Okay, so I wanted to get after some mule deer, but the elk just seemed to be following me around. And this is a pretty good looking bull. So we're gonna shoot that. And his friend doesn't seem to have noticed. There's some wolves in the back. So we're gonna shoot him before those wolves decide to chase him out of here. And then we might as well call those wolves in. And have a look and see if any of them are gonna score anything decent. That one actually looked pretty good. That one right there looks quite a bit bigger than the other ones. Gonna have to call him in though, I'm not getting the, the spot on him. Ah well, coming to join the party. Okay, here we go. The wolves are coming. Small male, low weight. I'm not seeing anything too special out of any of these. With 60 kg max on a on a male, they're not going to be very big. But that might be. No, he's also small. Max 65, but he's probably the best one. So down he goes. Oh, I almost got a shot on that one. I don't know what it was doing, but he was pretty close to his max too, so that's not awful, but 15.6 isn't anything to, nothing to write home about. Well, let's have a look at this bull elk, because he was, he had a little bit of potential. Three sixty six, not much bigger than our last one. Which is surprising, because I actually thought he was pretty decent, but... Fair enough. Still nothing, nothing too special. And then this guy looked quite a bit smaller, I wouldn't expect. I would give this one probably 300, would be my guess. Eh, he's got one back time, 310. Heavy though. <laughs> 343, I guess. So not bad, not better than the other one, but... Not a bad little group of two bull elk. And I think, oh, there's a cow elk over there. Might as well take her out. She's looking right at me, so I might as well. Okay, well, I kind of figured that would happen, but... Okay, well. Let's see if we can actually get some decent mule deer, because... Been nothing but elk so far. Well, that's a better looking wolf. I actually have a, a mission where I need to shoot a dark male wolf with the 270. Can't really get a good laying down shot. The only thing with this is I have to shoot it in the heart. Some wolves behind me and all around me. But I don't think they'll I don't think they'll spook that dark one. He's pretty far out. But I just can't really get a good shot at him because of this grass. I think if I move onto the road, if I can move onto the road without these things running towards him, they're kind of dumb by the looks of it. Let's just shoot one of them. Now we'll get out to the road. He hasn't spooked. We're going to lay down and I think we'll just call him. Call him a little closer. And see if we can hit that hard shot. Oh, he's he's trotting. So we'll see if he he comes right to us or. Hopefully he's trotting because he's coming to the call, not because he's distracted by who knows what. That looks like a pretty good shot, actually. Oh, and he moved again. I'm just gonna crawl to the the crest of this hill and see if we can maybe get a good opportunity to try to shoot him in the heart that's not a bad spot for him to be standing but I can't get a clear shot laying down so I'm not gonna not gonna attempt it 
I can just see the top of his head right now. Let's see. No, I don't want to take that shot while he's moving. I'm probably not going to hit this hard shot, but he's a good wolf. He'll he'll end up on the ground, hard shot or not. So that's a good thing. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I saw blood. So he's hit at least. But I think I hit him in like the lower part of the leg, so... We'll see if that brings him down. That's a bear. I was hoping maybe he'd run out to the river and I'd get a follow-up shot on him, but... Doesn't look like it. Let's just have a quick look at the blood and see if we manage to... Manage to tag some intestines. Let's see, that's his track. Body blood. Oh, I thought maybe I saw him dead over there, but that's a... The wolf kill elk carcass. Alright, well, I'll track him down. And hopefully he died. Oh, never mind, he's right here. But yes, he did die. 82 kg. 16.5, that's... Almost 16.6. That is a good wolf. We will take a picture of that. Okay, so uh, in the process of taking this picture, I've come to the conclusion that this grass is just awful for taking pictures. Kind of, I got like three different poses, but I couldn't get a good shot because the grass kept like clipping in front of the camera. It was kind of awful. But anyway, that looks pretty good. He's not bigger than the one I got in the lodge at the moment. And I don't think he's quite worthy Quite worthy of our lodge, so we're not going to mount him. And we'll keep looking for the, the specimen that will make it into our brand new lodge. Okay, so we got a pretty decent looking buck coming in. But what I'm slightly more interested in is that guy right there. And that is going to be our lodge animal. For sure. But with this guy's 190 to 240 estimate, or, yeah, that's what his estimate was, wasn't it? I already forgot. He has a chance of being over 200, which could land us a theoretical super rare. Which would be pretty neat. But the trick is going to be getting this guy on the ground without those ones spooking. And that has it done, so that wasn't that bad. Now I'm not going to risk shooting any of the other ones until the piebald's over here. And I'll blast him with the 270 right over his body. I don't know if I've seen that buck yet, but he's not very big, so... I'm not interested. We're going to keep our focus to this piebald. And hopefully he walks right over the body of our 190 to 240. And it might land us with a super rare. Not a bad buck either. Probably about 150s. 130 to 180. Yeah, I think I'd give him probably 150s. But he's not really going to walk right over that, that other mule deer. So I think we're going to stop calling. And kind of let him wander a little bit. And see if he'll kind of wander back out towards that that other buck. Okay, so a uh, slight change of plans. I guess one of those deer under my tree stand smelled me or something. And uh, they all decided they wanted to get a little bit of exercise and go for a run. And then they made me get some exercise. And chase this thing around the whole damn countryside. But after a couple hours of tracking him. I have him dead, which unfortunately we're not gonna, not gonna get the potential super rare. I still haven't picked up that other buck, so I'll have to, uh, I'll have to fast travel back to that tent and pick him up. But yeah, we're not getting the super rare opportunity, but we have our buck for our new lodge. But that's all I really care about. Let's pick him up, have a look at his score, and take a nice picture of him. 146, so just shy of what I figured he'd score. 
But let's take our trophy shot. Okay, that looks pretty damn good. Other than his ears kind of clipping to his antler, but we're going to overlook that. Accept and taxidermize him for our new lodge. Sweet. Now let's hop back over here. And see. Oh, there's a bear over here. We're maybe going to leave him alone. But our buck is still... Still just laying here. Let's see what he was going to score. And whether or not we would have had a super rare. And he was too small anyway. So it wouldn't have even worked out. So that's... I mean, not necessarily a good thing because the buck wasn't as big as I thought he was. But a good thing is we didn't miss out on anything. I also shot this one at some point. But anyway... I guess we should go look at him in the lodge. Or I'll go put him in the lodge and then we'll go have a look at him in the lodge. Alright, so here we are in our brand new trophy lodge. And as you can see, I did end up taxidermizing that wolf. I was feeling 16.6 .6 for the taxidermy threshold, but he's pretty close, so... He'll find himself a spot in the lodge. And of course, our centerpiece, our 146 piebald mule deer. Quite the beauty. That was a good hunt, or well, I mean, it was a series of hunts. I didn't record this whole thing in one hunt, but it was it was a good time. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.